Hi, my name is Edith Choignard from Collection Inedit, and today I want to show you my own process to do raw edge applique. First, I will talk about the steamy seam, then how and why I use it. And finally, I will show you a trick on how to place the applique on the background fabric quickly and without guessing. The steamy seam is a fusible web sandwiched between two protective sheets. There is a positive and a not so positive side to it. The positive is that it keeps the fabric from fraying and I love that it gives the project an amazing look and less work. The not so positive is that it leaves a residue on the needle but it doesn't affect the efficiency of the needle and when you start quilting another project without the steamy seam the residue goes away and it doesn't stain the fabric. Some people don't like this product because they don't like stiff fabric. There are two options to counter the stiffness. Use the light steam seam too, or you can also cut the interior of the steam seam and keep only the edge that will help you keep the applique in place. To start the process, there are four simple steps. Print the black and white sets of templates that will allow you to place the appliques on the background at the end. You will find those in most of my patterns. Then assemble them with scotch tape to get the full picture. Put this paper aside for now and we'll get back to it later. To continue the process, print the other set of applique templates on paper and then trace them on steam a seam. As mentioned before, the steam a seam is a fusible web sandwiched between two protective sheets. Here I wanted to show you that a tablet can be a very useful tool. Save the electronic pattern on your tablet and open it to the section on the color guide. All my patterns have a color guide to help you make sure you match the fabric with the right applique. Working with your tablet will save you a lot of ink in your printer. It's now time to start making the raw edge applique. Begin by ironing the fabric and placing it wrong side up. Take off the protective sheet with no drawings and place the fusible side directly on the fabric. To prevent the iron from getting gunk on the sole plate, I place a sheet of paper on top of the last protective sheet of steam seam and press. To get rid of the gunk on your iron, if it ever happens, Mr. Net Eraser will do wonders to clean it up. You can now cut all the appliques. Then I will show you my trick to place them on the background fabric. At this point, you will need a tracing table. Here's mine. But if you don't have one, you could use a glass table top with a lamp underneath and it will do just fine. Remember the template I assembled at the beginning of this video? Take it now and place the background fabric on top. Make sure the design is centered, then pin the paper to the fabric. Turn on the light and you can see the design through the fabric. The next step is to place all the appliques on the background. Pay attention to the position because some appliques go behind other appliques. As you can see, you must peel off the last protective sheet, then place the applique on the background fabric. The fusible web will adhere to the fabric and will stay in place until you press them.
Here's a completed raw edge applique. All you have left to do is to quilt it. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and you can share this video with all your friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to be informed of all my upcoming quilting projects. You will find the link to my website and my Facebook page below this video. Thank you and I'll see you next time.